how should we be going about the tuning process on one of these vehicles? Let's stick to Gen 3 for the moment. Well, so Gen 3, there's a couple of different routes to go. You know, the simplest way would be to calibrate your math and then obviously fail the math and then go into speed density tuning. Now, I don't do that. I base all of my speed density calculations off of the math and actually tune them simultaneously. But that is just from you know years of experience and messing with these cars and learning the right buttons to push to find that. But if I was teaching somebody to start from scratch, it would be to dial in the math, then fail it, and then tune speed density or vice versa. Honestly, it's a little bit easier. Technically, it's a little bit easier to do speed density first because if you get speed density first done while you're data logging speed density and we'll call it your one of your final renditions of your VE table, you can actually data log dynamic airflow versus your mass airflow sensor frequency and essentially build your mass airflow sensor table while you're driving. 